What's up, freaks? Tex here. And 2014 was a disappointing year. Well, for everybody else, for me it was okay. Mainly because I was only looking forward to three different games: Alien Isolation, The Evil Within, and The Last of Us. I was really looking forward to Shadow and Mordor, but then I forgot about it. Not gonna lie. Actually, you could say that I was only looking forward to two games this year, because The Last of Us came out in 2013 on the PS3. Which is what I ended up playing it on anyway, so I don't know why I waited a whole year. Oh, that's right, because my PS3 is fucking shit, that's why. It stopped reading discs, so I had to wait and get a new one. So I ended up playing it almost a year later. Well worth the wait, it was a fantastic game. So the two games that I was actually looking forward to in 2014 were released almost a week apart from each other. In Isolation and The Evil Within. Both really good games. But if I had to pick one, and I'm going to, I'm going to go with... Da -da -da -da. The Evil Within, big shocker there, am I right? I mean, if you follow my channel, then you should you should know that I'm pretty much in love with this game. You know, it's a, I'm married to it. It's fantastic. I love you. The Evil Within was the game that I was looking forward to in 2014. And not only did it meet my expectations, it went above and beyond. It exceeded what I thought it was going to be. It was a lot better than I thought. I said, I knew it was going to be good. But I played it, I didn't know it was going to be this good. It's fantastic. I love the game. There's a few people who didn't like this game, and I can see why. The widescreen presentation is kind of annoying, but eventually you'll get used to it. A lot of people didn't like the story, because it was very vague and confusing. But once you figure it out, it's actually really, really good. And also, on PC, the frame rate was really bad. I mean, I've seen the game in action on 360 and PS4 in person, and the frame rate's fine, at least for those two consoles that I've seen and witnessed personally. But... I love this game. There's no other way to put it. I oh my god, I'm still playing it to this day. And there's a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of references to be found, and it's as amazing and fun finding them. Hell, I have a whole section on my channel that are nothing but evil than Easter eggs. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't find all these Easter egg references myself. I get it from you guys who also love this game, and you find other little stuff, and you tell me about it, I check it out, and if it's legit, I upload it. It really shows how much hard work went into this game from the developers much time they spent into this game, especially with hiding all these little things in it. Not only that, the game itself is long, and it's massive. It's an awesome game. I'm seeing it being described as the love letter to survival horror. It really makes sense, especially with all the Easter egg references. It just plays on your nostalgia, like it goes, hey, remember this? And I'm all like, guess what? I do, Evil Within. I do. Well, there you have it. That's my 2014 game of the year. Even though I did only play three games this year, but all three games didn't disappoint. They were all really good, but out of all three of those games, I liked this one the most. Not only that, it was the game I was looking forward to the most this year. And to have it exceed my expectations is just heartwarming. I love it. So what was your 2014 game of the year? Which one did you absolutely love? There was some pretty good games this year. There was also a lot of shit. I heard Shadow of Mordor was really good. I should probably buy it. Once I get some fucking money. Alright, freaks. Thanks for watching. I'm Tex, and I'll catch you next time.